All right, Halo Infinite multiplayer is finally here, and today I'm gonna give my review. Let's talk about it. All right, before we get into this review, if you have not seen my latest video on Halo Infinite and Forza and Xbox is Crazy 2021, please pause this video, go watch it. Uh, that video is huge to me because it's my first sponsorship and I need the views, I need the likes, I need the engagements, I need the shares. I think it will help very, very much. So please check that out uh, as soon as you have a chance. This video is in the link description below. All right, let's talk about Halo Infinite and its multiplayer beta. Okay. Multiplayer, Halo Infinite multiplayer is pretty much a full-fledged launches out. I know it's called beta, but we kind of got the full package here. We already got the active battle passes. They already had a live, uh, uh, already have an event going on, um, which I think believes the first part of it ends before the game even launches. Um, they've already have, you know, the achievements and stuff like that, that we're unlocking the ranking system. Everything is pretty much live in this game. All the modes are there. Sure. There's a, uh, there's a few things they can add. They've already made updates, uh, based on feedback. So, but for the most part, we kind of have an idea of what we're getting. And we, I want to say the, you can officially, it's fair to say that the multiplayer is fully out, even though it's going to hold the beta name until December 8th. So. I do feel comfortable giving it a review. And I must say easily, Halo Infinite uh, multiplayer is probably the best and most polished multiplayer we've gotten in several years. Um, I feel like 343 has the Halo um, multiplayer down to a science uh, of this level of fairness. I mean, sometimes um, they respond to feedback almost to to a hindrance but i feel what they have in halo infinite in terms of the time to kill uh which is an improvement personally my preference is i prefer what was done in halo 5 a little bit you know what i mean i think the, the time to kill is a little bit too long for my liking but nevertheless it's fair there's not there's not this all all out war for um you know upgrading you know your weapons and stuff like that this game is the where it's, it's Halo to its core. It's, I'm getting reminiscence of Halo 3. I'm getting the things that I like from Halo 5. Um, there's there's things about this game that's just like damn near perfect, right? Um, it, when it comes to gameplay, it's the, I, I don't want to, there's no other multiplayer game or shooter game right now that I actually want to play. Uh, there's actually not a game I'm in the mood to play. When I turn on my Xbox, I want to play Halo Infinite, and that's what I've been doing. I've already have a five hour, a five hour stream of Halo Infinite, and I have a three hour stream of Halo Infinite in the last couple days, and I've had a blast in, in both uh, streams. And even before I even started streaming the game, I've already had 30 plus hours into the game and I've just been blasting away. Um, so we're gonna talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly here. So Halo Infinite, the good, obviously, it's Halo. It looks great, it plays great. Um, the visuals are are, are pretty uh, dope. It's nothing like technically crazy about it. It, it. it does hold up, it is a pretty game and it does perform well. On the Xbox Series X, we do have two performance mode options, which the standard is 60 frames per second in quality mode, which is targeting a higher resolution. I mean, then there's a performance mode at 120 frames per second. I've got the pleasure and the opportunity uh, to play at both. Um, and personally, I kind of just stuck with um, the the quality mode. I think it's, it's fine enough. The performance mode is good enough, but I felt like I've my level of play has been consistent among both. So I feel like Halo has a nice balance with this quality and performance mode. And then at one time, when I get into custom games where a lot of my friends and podcast members are on PC, that's when I typically up my settings to like 120 and I stretch out my field of view just so I could be, feel like I'm on a quote unquote even playing field when I'm playing with those guys. But otherwise, uh, it's performance metric is great. I mean, I haven't ran into any bugs with this game. Um, and to connect, the, surprisingly, the big, there's no server issues. There hasn't really been a server issue. Remember when Master Chief uh, Collection uh, launched and that was a problem. We didn't have this 
uh, not during a flight test and not obviously and not during uh, the beta and based on the way the beta is performing obviously the December 8th launch of the full game is probably going to be flawless uh, but the performance the ease of playing and just uh, uh, playing with friends I'm not being kicked from games I'm not dropping out of games I'm not crashing I'm not dashboarding the game just runs like extremely uh, extremely well uh, as far as modes there's a, the crazy thing is there's there's 10 maps but there's you don't have access to all these maps they're all predicated on mode so you uh you let's break down the modes we have we have big team battle which consists of uh stockpile capture the flag big team slayer and uh there's another control point i can't think of a name right now you also have um ranked matches which consist of slayer oddball uh stronghold and capture the flag and then we have uh the regular quick play quick play which is all those modes just not it's not ranking in um so the thing about ranking I'm, i apologize is the the rank matches everybody starts off with one weapon and that is the battle rifle and then you have all the secondary weapons will be pickups along the map in big team battle and and quick play you are you know your your standard weapons are assault rifle and uh the pistol and then of course map pickups and whatnot um and then obviously the ongoing event right now is fiesta at the time of this recording which is just really slayer with randomized weapons everybody start off with random weapons mostly of them are power-ups and, and different gadgets and whatnot and it's sort of like you know good luck um and that's and that's really been fun so the the core there's i as a Halo fan, like my history with Halo is Halo 3, Halo uh, 4, Halo 5, Halo Reach, ODST. I have minor history with Halo 1 and Halo 2, uh, and that's only because couch multiplayer and playing with my cousins because I didn't originally own the original Xbox. Uh, but I got even more experience with them through Master Chief Collection um, over the years. But um, the thing is, is that I naturally like Halo. I like Halo's multiplayer. There's like, I've always thought Halo has been top tier, best in class when it comes to uh, first person shooters. I think Halo 5 up until this release was the best multiplayer Halo's been since Halo 3. And now Halo Infinite is really stepping into that and taking that crown as being the de facto best Halo uh, multiplayer. And, um, and, and this has a lot of things to back it up. So yes, they got the modes. Could they use more? Yes, Halo Infinite is missing modes like Infection. Um, it's missing SWAT, it's missing um, a grip ball is missing um uh god man i can't think of it there's so many modes uh there it is obviously is missing like uh forge and whatnot and the one of the big things that is missing is a dedicated playlist now if it gets this game come lunch then hey it, it will be back to where we need to be with halo but a dedicated playlist right now you are forced really to play um really just a randomized modes and um, the thing is, me, when I play Halo, every time I load up Halo multiplayer, I've only really loaded up two things. Social Slayer, Rank Slayer. I, I play nothing else in every other Halo game, where this time around, I'm forced to sort of play every mode because it's, it's randomized and there's no dedicated playlist. So if you don't, if you want to avoid capture the flag, you don't really have the choice. And that's what is really missing. It's missing a dedicated playlist. It's missing free for all. Uh, and these are things that I think that are, are important. Um, even though the game is fun, it has a high replay value, uh, value, the gameplay loop is good. They have some cool challenges there, um, but it is missing modes that, you know, would allow, you know, Halo fans to like kind of go into. And I think after a while, the modes that are there could be a turnoff if you're not getting what you want uh, to play. Uh, the maps, the maps are fine, but I, they're gonna have to add some. Right now, it's ten total across those um, um, across those modes. Uh, Forge will help when it finally launch, but definitely they need some more maps. Uh, the biggest knock against Halo right now is really its progression system and its uh, battle pass system and its cosmetics. So I have mixed feelings on this. My biggest beef with Halo Infinite is really just the XP system, meaning that you can go 49, 15, 10, and like have these, this crazy stat line and only get 50 xp for completing like just participating in the game and that's the same amount of xp that somebody that could go 0 17 and no objective points gets for finishing that game and i think that's very very unfair um back in the day halo fans we play games for 
bragging rights and ranking. Um, I know this Halo is more dedicated of like doing challenges and getting unlocks for different costumes and stuff and doing things for the battle pass. And that doesn't translate well with, you know, regular Halo players. And, and that's where I, I have an issue with, it's like I can play and, and, and sometimes because I'm not a free to play Fortnite player, I play Halo like I when I'm playing this Halo, I'm playing Halo as if I was playing Halo 5 or Halo 3. I'm just playing and you know, you know, I do, if I do good, I get my points. If I do bad, whatever. Uh, but um, the thing is, is though, whether I do good or bad, I'm getting the same amount of XP, um, and that that's off. The, that that needs to be uh, fixed. Whereas other players, you know, those who are coming from Warzone and Fortnite, they're playing for costumes, so they're doing all these stupid challenges and stuff like that, which uh, it breaks up team morale. Like, I mean, let's say we're doing a uh you know oddball or something like that or we're playing um uh, uh strongholds or whatever and then you have like a set of players literally trying to get certain things done that has nothing to do with the objective which literally causes us the game and that kind of, that caused us caused me a lot of games i get it it's, it's it's cool to have these side objective but they they don't work for team morale and I think that's the things that need to be addressed we have to find a way to reward standard halo players who don't really care about earning battle pass points or earning um you know costumes or cosmetics I don't mind buying cos I think the costumes are are dope uh there there is it's very MTX heavy for that stuff and I know some people have an issue with it but remember guys Halo is a free to play now so it's going to have those free to play annoyances I don't care if developers charge X amount of money for cosmetics. I don't care. The free to play games are really set up for you to A, grind for what you want or B, pay for it. And when it comes to Halo Infinite, that's only limited to cosmetics. So I, as long as, as, long as you're, it's not pay to win and it's about paying to look good, go ahead. I don't care what you do with that. Um, Cause the thing is, but I'm playing Halo. I'm not thinking I'm like, I'm playing this to get this costume. I'm playing this to get this skin. I'm just really playing to do good. And my only issue is I'm not being rewarded for when I finally do do good. I'm not being rewarded as I should. And I think they need to reassess that of gaining, giving people the proper XP for that, uh, for their natural play. Now, Halo, they do have some cool challenges. And I think they are missing um, modes that would allow those people who are chasing these challenges uh, for uh, the battle pass and everything. Um, what they need is a free for all. Right now, Fiesta is doing its job at, to, to solve some of these problems. But if they had a free for all, you won't have to worry about other players uh, like kind of beating down the, the team objective or ruining the team objective by chasing their own stats or chasing their own goals. If you throw in a free for all option with randomized weapons and whatnot, people will allow, or will be able to get those individual goals just in that mode alone, unless you start doing team-based uh, weeklies and dailies and stuff like that. So obviously their battle pass and their challenges, their XP system does need adjustment. That's really the only thing that's holding this game back. Otherwise, it's damn, it's a masterpiece. It is a masterpiece outside of those uh, those challenges and stuff. And let's say, hopefully they do update that. 343 has been very responsive when it comes to uh, responding to feedback concerning Halo Infinite. Um, and the other issue right now, I don't believe you can turn off crossplay. I think they need to address that too because the PC guys are already cheating. Um, and um, and and there's got to be a way for you know us console guys and cloud guys to avoid playing against uh, with PC guys if they're not going to play fair. But um, overall, man, uh, my complaints with Halo is very, uh, very, very. Uh, limited. I think it's great. I think it's perfect, and, I, and I'm going to be playing this for a while until I don't know what. There's nothing else out there right now that's drag, uh, that's going to pull me off. Um, Battlefield's not doing too hot. Call of Duty's not doing too hot. Halo is the best game right now, and it and it's free. You can play it on your phone. You can play it on um, your Chromebook. You can play it on your PC. You can play it on your Xbox One, your Xbox Series consoles. It's a free to play. You don't need Xbox Live to utilize, to, to have access to this game, and you don't need Game Pass to have access to this game. The campaign comes out on December 8th, and of course that's gonna be a separate video because I'm looking forward to that. But I think if we're gonna give a grading score, even in its current state, Halo Infinite, I'm saying it's the best multiplayer right now in its current state. 
in his current state it is an eight and a half uh, for me um, and like I said it's about an update uh, it's about an update or two from being a perfect uh, 10 out of 10 but um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video let me know your thoughts on Halo Infinite's multiplayer what do you think needs to change is it is it really predatory uh, I, I highly doubt that but there's some uh, quality of life changes that could happen in this game but I think as of now in its current state is really really fun um, and I think it has long legs if 343 address the current issues we have because if they don't they could be looking at a short-term success if they do not uh, address these issues but that's my video on halo infinite i hope you guys enjoy it xbox is the best box i am the best bot good night or good morning if you're on the other side of the globe i'm out of here peace